New at 11, protecting Tampa's finest. A Tampa police officer testing positive for COVID-19 today. Tonight, several dozens more are off the job, taking precautions from contracting the deadly virus. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith leading our team coverage for us tonight. Ryan. Jameson, Police Chief Brian Dugan urging people to take this seriously and stay inside, warning this is having a big impact on the entire department, now with 35 officers under a quarantine. TPD's men and women are on the front lines in the community. Our cops, we can handle the bombs and the bullets and the blood, but it's this unknown virus that we're not used to, that we can't see, and that's what makes our job so dangerous and so difficult. The Tampa Police Department confirms a 26-year-old officer tested positive today for COVID-19. We know that officer's last shift on the force was March 15th. That person became ill three days later and is now recovering from the virus. It's gotten real and it's only going to get worse in my opinion. It doesn't appear that enough people are taking this serious enough. TPD is currently monitoring 44 officers with 35 in quarantine. 10 officers are showing symptoms of COVID-19. Three are taking time off after giving CPR to someone who died of unknown causes last night. It is nearly impossible for our police officers to do their jobs without potentially being exposed to this virus. With stay-at-home orders looming for much of Tampa Bay, Chief Dugan stresses people have to do their part to help those who protect and serve. So the message is if you don't act like a fool, you don't show your butt, you ain't gonna have to worry about contracting from a police officer. Just stay inside your house and we won't have any problems. And I, have to, I asked the police chief tonight, what kind of impact having dozens of Tampa police officers under a quarantine is having on patrols and response times? He says for now staffing, they are doing okay, shifting schedules in the meantime. But he says, of course, that could all dramatically change if this virus continues to spread. Live in Tampa, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.